Hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the badass business coach. And for those of you who are first time here listening, um, badass business coach, why? Well, because I help you realize your badassness so you do more, be more, and achieve more. And yes, I've heard recently, well, I'm not sure that I want to be badass, or what does that really mean? Well, it doesn't mean you have to bulk up. It really just means you're going to dig deeper and achieve the results you desire. And yeah, that's badass. And one of my clients called me that, the badass business coach. So I kind of like it. It stuck. So anyway, all of you that were listening, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, for sharing this podcast with others. Because as I mentioned last week, I believe, um, this podcast is downloaded in over uh, over 100 countries. Super cool. And uh, yeah, and almost 100,000 downloads. So there you go. And this is fifth year of weekly podcasts. So thank you because of you guys listening, all of you. And that's why I keep coming back and doing this every week. Yes. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but it ends up coming to me. So thank you again. And don't forget to check out my website, badassbusiness.coach. All right, because yes, it's been a whirlwind of a year so far, at least for me. But it seems like many times the beginning of the year goes by so fast. You know, we're recouping from the holidays. Well, and many of us were recouping from whatever the hell 2020 was, right? You know, getting our goals set up. Although I recommend doing that before the end of the year, I realize it doesn't always happen, especially after last year and the pandemic. And and we're also just getting motivated. And Podcast 253, which was in February, I actually touched on um, seasonal depression and how it legitimately affects people. And how one person I've known for years, many, many years, counteracted that uh, this year by digging in before the end of the year. Yes, she took my Finish finish Strong online course, but she said it really helped her stay focused and motivated so that winter funk didn't take a hold of her this year. And she actually achieved a lot more. Even her husband was like, what's going on? Who are you? So, you know, I understand a lot of people just go through a lot of things. And this year started off still with a lot of uncertainty. So hopefully you're settling into this new year and it doesn't matter if things aren't fully opened or they're starting to, it's the second quarter, and it's really now or never. There's really no more excuses. If you don't get your ass into gear now, you're going to wake up in June, or perhaps October, and wonder what the hell happened to 2021, right? We don't know what happened to last year, but this year, 2021, we're getting shit done, right? In last week's podcast, I talked about exploring exploring other options, new ways to do things, and just taking a step back and looking at your business or career or life in general and see what's missing, what, what, what's doing well, what you're loving about it. Explore, explore what's happening in your business, explore what's a good use of your time, explore what keeps not getting done and explore options and ways to obtain help. So what did you find? Well, I heard from some of you that they did create the list and found that what they could start delegating, and now they're working on who to ask for help, and that's awesome. Others talked about taking that step back, how powerful that was, and it helped them slow down and really see what's going on, and now can take some action steps to make some adjustments. And I mentioned how I now have a virtual assistant helping me. She's amazing. You know, she's helping me with what's not getting done. And what's really just deeper than that is what's not a good use of my time. I mean, I need to be helping my clients, meeting with them, which is more than just a session. It's so much more. And I want to do more. So I need, to, I need help with research, setting things up, reminders, follow-ups, as well as getting a little more organized. Because with my rebrand last year, there are sometimes some worksheets that have not been updated with new information. Simple things like that, you know? And as I mentioned earlier, focus. 
Doing all of this, getting myself to that next level so I can do more for you, will require better and more focus. And the exploring helped me determine what was not a good use of my time. Even though I knew it, you know, I knew there were things I didn't really need to be doing. And I, once I wrote it down and really looked at it, that w was powerful. And now I can focus on what's important, you, my clients, my listeners, my friends, right? You know, I, on Saturday, as I was heading to yoga, I just took the time and called friends because I walk. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. And I just had a great conversation. And then on the way back, did the same. You know, before, I'm usually like running through the oh shit list in my head of stuff I have to do after yoga. And it was it was life-changing, right? So Saturday's yoga theme, ironically, had focus as an underlying theme. Before the instructor even started, she said, what's your intention for today's se session? And I replied to myself, focus, right? <laughs> and lo and behold, she touched on it. And so I thought, well, giddy up. That's, this, that's next week's um, podcast theme. And so that's truly today and this week's theme I want you to focus on. It's ne the next step. You know, after you explore, you know, you've got to focus because that's what it will take for any of us to level up. You can't do more, be more, and achieve more by being scattered. Even I've felt a bit scattered since I, you know, got back from my week in Indiana that was full of just events and, and client meetings and friend time. But, I had, you know, I looked down at my desk and I had post-it notes, three or four of them with different thoughts and to-dos on them, as well as my mouse pad that's a paper. It's a weekly to-do list and goal sheet. I just had random shit written all over it, you know, and there was a lot to do, but no real focus. I wasn't sticking to my way of doing things, my one, two, three method of getting shit done. I was out of sorts and well, yes, yoga helped me reclaim that. And so this week's theme is for me as well as all of you. So hell yes, watch out Monday and the rest of the days of the week, of this week, because I'm back, I'm refocused, and I'm going to kick ass in a strong, badass way this week. And when I'm that powerful in my own being and self and mind, I get a lot of shit done. So it happens to all of us, getting scattered out of sorts. Obviously, I told on myself, so it happens to me too. You know, my routine got thrown off, and now it's time to get my shit together. And I need to finish April strong so I can do more. And now, you know, it's not just my routine sometimes. I've got these new ideas, follow-ups from the trip, and ideas that have been brewing for a while that I need to come to fruition. And I just haven't been able to get that done. So, yes, like I said, this week I need this just as much as some of you. All right? So this week I want you to get focused. You're like, okay, so how? If you're not going to hire me, then you'll need to do this yourself. So get a notepad, an app, a giant post-it note sheet that you can stick on a wall or an easel, a dry erase board, whatever you want, and write down all those random thoughts, ideas, and to-dos, both personally and professionally, that are just floating around in your mind that I call the oh shit list, right? So write all of it down. doesn't matter how many pages, how much it is. So then go back, step two, put a star next to what items on the list you must do. For example, meet with clients, report, record the podcast, and again, things that only you can do for your business or career or in your life. Then step three, rate the items uh, that are left on the, on the list by priority. So say however you want to rate it, but one is low, five is extremely high priority. Then rewrite that list for today, what you're, what you're going to do today or tomorrow, right? Whenever you're listening to this. Then, um, even or some people even schedule those on your calendar. I have one uh, friend that she's like, it's not scheduled on my calendar. It does not get done. So she puts it on the calendar. So her calendar reminds her all the time what she's supposed to be doing. All right, so it's step four. Step five, rewrite the list before you walk away from your desk or office each day or like she does schedule them so maybe you've scheduled your week out that's fantastic write it down 
And then I actually put the one, two, three. That's what I was referring to earlier. I know in the morning, one, two, three, those three things, those are top priority. I draw a line and those things have to get done. And when those don't, I get out of focus, I get out of sorts, and just random shit gets done. Like even this, what some mornings, like, oh, Saturday morning before yoga, I was supposed to sit down and work on the podcast. I was researching flowers to send a friend for her birthday. I was looking up what to do on Catalina Island because now we can actually take a boat over there and and use the tickets we paid for last year. You know, <laughs> random shit. So again, write up, step one, write everything down. Step two, put a star next to the items that only you can do. Step three, rate the items left over by low to high priority. Then you can rewrite your list on what you're going to do today and or tomorrow. Then the last step, rewrite it each day before you walk away. That way when you walk in the morning, you know exactly where to start. And then at the end of each week, you can look at what's not gotten done. And you'll start seeing patterns and you'll start seeing what's not a good use of your time and what you can delegate to someone else. All right. And again, you can contact me. Let me help you get more focused so you can level up and achieve amazing things. All right. My email is sandy at sandyballard.com. Remember, Sandy is with an I. Or direct message me. Get a hold of me. Let me help you get refocused so you can tr- grow and truly achieve the results you desire. And yes, realize how badass you are. Have a great week full of focus. Cheers.